Selling Sunset is adding two new cast members to season six and seven. Hey everyone, welcome back to another shared news update. We have major Selling Sunset news and we are going to tell you everything you need to know about the newest cast members. But first, if you are new here, make sure you ring that bell, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any pop culture updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan Wright. Today, I am joined by Allison Van Dam and Blakely McHugh. You guys, can you believe we're getting two new real estate agents at the O Group for two seasons? How crazy is that? Is it bad that I'm a little worried? I just feel like we've yeah. already expanded the cast so much, and I feel like we are already not getting full storylines in seasons like four and five, other than just the Christine drama time and time again. But... I guess Maya, we know, is not coming back. There's been a lot of rumors of if Christine is going to be back. So maybe they just needed to, you know, swap some agents in and out. We know Heather might be down in OC more. So I'm I'm trying not to be super negative, but I am a little concerned. I'm just, I was curious for a while how it was going to work if Christine wasn't there, you know, what the drama was going to bring. So it makes sense that they're going to bring on some new people into the show. But truthfully, I was surprised. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that there would be new cast members, but I mean, it makes sense. But for some reason, my mind wasn't there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, they've proved they have the recipe for success, right? So sometimes it's like, why try to fix what isn't broken? Why try to bring new people mm -hmm. in when this is clearly working for you? But we have two new cast members. So Brie Tessie is one of them. She is a model, apparently has some real estate background and is no stranger to the spotlight. She was recently in the news for giving birth to one of Nick Cannon's eight babies now of course he didn't have all these eight babies recently um but he does have eight total <laughs> with five different women and their baby i believe they welcomed either in june or july um it was a big deal you know it was over every you know entertainment news website headline uh nick cannon has baby boy with brie tessie so do you think that netflix is maybe riding out this free publicity that came along with brie having nick cannon's baby I think definitely they're smart. I mean, looking back to even season one, <laughs> no one really knew who Chriselle was. And then she did her first interview and she was talking about how she was married to Justin Hartley. You know, now, while we never saw Justin on the show, and I believe that Chriselle, you know, can stand on her own two feet and does add value to the show. It never hurts to, you know, have people that people are already talking about on the show. It just brings even more publicity. But yeah, I mean, I, Nick Cannon has had several children that are all one or younger at this point. So he really seems like he's having a lot of children with a lot of different women. I know, sadly, you know, one of his uh, babies did pass away. And so that's why they were kind of keeping this recent pregnancy under wraps because um, they didn't want to, you know, push it in anyone's faces while they were still mourning the loss of his other child. But in all the interview kind of little clips I've seen or quotes that I've seen from Bree, she's really seemed nothing but low key. You know, she's talked about the fact that he has had other children, that he has other baby mamas. She doesn't want to step on anyone's toes. She's trying to be considerate of everyone. So my hope is that maybe she'll be a calm presence having just, you know, become a mom. I think that changes people a lot, but I'm sure Netflix will find a way to stir up drama regardless. I also always love when there's a crossover, you know, because th that's one thing that I really like also about like the Real Housewives is we have some women, but then they have these random connections to these like A-list celebrities. Like how cool is, it? I know Kyle Richards obviously has Paris Hilton as her niece, but like Kyle Richards has Kris Jenner over at her house for her gala. So I always think that there's really cool when there are these crossovers. It brings fans from other places and it really adds a different dynamic and a different element when you actually have somebody who is a, a, of celebrity status. I think that obviously the women on Selling Sunset now are of celebrity status, but I don't know that I, I personally probably would never have called Brie a celebrity. She has having a child with a celebrity, but I don't know that I would have ever called her that. So I love that there is this crossover. I think it'll be interesting if we get to see a little bit more of her life and a little bit more inside of Nick Cannon's life because we don't know a lot about Nick Cannon these days other than he's wild and out with women you know and he he's happy about it but yeah well that leads me right to my next question you know do we think nick cannon will make any cameos i know allison you said earlier that justin hartley never was on the show but he was talked about a lot but a lot of the other significant others whether it be Tarek, you know who came from hgtv or romaine we see a lot of significant others all the time so 
Will we see Nick Cannon? Yes or no? I think it really depends on what contracts he is out right now. I know he's hosted, you know, a myriad of different shows at this point. I don't know if he's under contract for one as of now, but I think that was the only thing that stood in the way of Tarek being on the show more than he was is because, you know, he still has a lot of ongoing contracts and shows with HGTV. So I would think unless something like legally is standing in the way, sure, we can put them in an episode or two. I I always love those scenes where they're at dinner parties or if they just go out with each other. I feel like those are some of my favorite scenes anyways. So if we can get some celebrity significant others all sitting down together and spilling the tea, why not? By the way, forgive me for not knowing, but I mean, Nick Cannon has had babies with a lot of women that he's not long, no longer with. So is our Brie and him currently together? I mean, that's another piece of the puzzle. Nobody really knows if Nick <laughs> and Brie are officially together or not. I mean, they have a great relationship. I saw that Brie actually did an at-home natural birth um, for the birth of their mm. son, and Nick Cannon was there, you know, the entire time. So TVD, maybe we'll find out yeah. on the show if they're actually together or not. Well, that, so that's what I was going to say. If they're together, I think we would see Nick in some capacity like we saw Tarek. Not a lot, but in some capacity. But if they're not together, what's the point of him being on the show? I think he'll probably be talked about because she's going to have to, you know, pass the child for the baby daddy or it's Nick's weekend or something like that. Like sort of how we saw Amanza talk about her estranged husband i think that they were married but her parent you know um so he was mentioned we never actually saw him so i think nick will some way somehow be worked into the mix whether or not he's being talked about or we see him but of course that depends or are they together or are they not yeah, time will tell. Obviously, we know that the baby is going to be a big storyline for her. And we know that Heather just announced she was expecting a baby boy. Do we think that Brie and Heather will bond over having newborn baby boys? Oh, I'm sure. I feel like we're all kind of entering into this chapter of motherhood. You know, Amanda has slightly older kids. Mary's son is almost like fully grown at this point because she had him really young. So I think it's just a new chapter for the agents at the office. Um, you know, we saw a few weddings. Now we're talking babies and seeing that whole part of their lives. So I would think that it's just, you know, a new thing for them all to share in. I don't know if they'll be open to, you know, sharing a ton of their kids' lives on the show, but I hope so because I think it's really interesting. By the way, Mary has been undergoing IVF, so there's a potential that she could also have another baby in the mix. The only the thing that's a little bit difficult with selling Sunset is because the premise of the show is them selling homes it's the premise of the show is not a real housewives where we're watching their 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 lives so they have this really unique you know they have to find a very unique balance in giving us their life but also giving us the homes and the agency and what they're selling because we obviously want both but they're they're not a real housewives show they're a selling homes in an agency show so there's that interesting dynamic there i see this going one of two ways either heather has a new buddy because they both have young children they're going to bond or they're going to attempt to bond but then you know they're not going to get along but then the storyline is like well they're both having children or they had the children they should get along you know something like that it could go one of two ways all right, well, I want to move on to our second new cast member, Nicole Young. She's no stranger to the Oppenheim group. She actually has been there for a very long time and was cast in the original group that was supposed to be on season one of the show, but she backed out last minute because she got cold feet. Uh, she's been friends with the cast for a very long time, but she's also ready to stir some things up. She said in an interview with Us Weekly, as far as drama goes, I fully realize that's a large and unavoidable aspect of the show, but I have pretty thick skin. I'm not easily offended and I have no qualms about voicing my opinion, so I'm not too worried. I feel like this quote alone makes me feel like she was made for reality TV. Do we think that Nicole will bring the drama, especially because she's known these women for so long, she's not scared of anybody. I mean, I would like to say yes, but I'm also kind of worried just because I know how close she and Mary are. Um, Mary's mm -hmm. often said like she's one of the closest people, closest friends she has in the office, despite her not being, you know, mm -hmm. on camera or part of the cast. She officiated Mary and Romaine's wedding. She, you know, she was there mm -hmm. for the bachelorette party, all that stuff as we were prepping for Mary's wedding. And, you know, 
clear is this just going to be another you know amanda jason mary vibe where she's just joining i think it's always more interesting to see an outsider join uh maybe that's you know what brie's gonna give us this season since she's already been there and since they're already such tight-knit friends i just feel like now we're just showing mary's friend group at this point as opposed to bringing in new people but maybe that's why they had to bring in two new people so we had the balance of the old like familiarity versus someone completely new. But yeah, the quote I'm with you, Morgan definitely like has a little bit of a bite to it has a little bit of an edge. Um, And we've seen that with Mary too. Mary doesn't back down. We watched her kind of give it back to Christine uh, at that party. And so if Chris, if uh, Mary and Nicole have been friends for this long, they probably have that in common. So Maybe they'll just be a force to be reckoned with. What I'm thinking is now she wants to jump on the bandwagon because it's successful and she's think she's seeing all of her friends get all these all these listings and she's left in the dust, so she's like, let me in. And but the quote is it's giving me a little bit of like Christine Quinn esque energy. So maybe be, maybe they're thinking she'll maybe fill those role that role or bring on a little bit of the drama and bring in what we'd be lacking from Christine, I, I I don't know much about either of these women, so I don't know exactly how they would play into the mix in terms of, you know, stirring up drama or anything like that, because obviously, like, the last few seasons have been really surrounded around Christine, so they have to find a new person to talk about, and I, it's not going to be Chriselle, it's not going to be Mary, it's not going to be Heather or Emma, because we know that they're all really tight-knit group. I mean, possibly Davina, but Davina's kissing butt right now because she wants to be in the tight knit group. And Vanessa is just sweet. She, you know, she doesn't stir up trouble. So we need somebody in there stirring trouble. Yeah, Blakely, and building off of that, you know, if we need a new villain or if we need someone to just stir up the drama, if she's been there for this long, if she's closed this many deals, if she's friends with Mary, you know, she was probably friends with Mary when Mary and Christine were roommates. You know, she might have been there when a man's a joint. Like if she has all the context, maybe she has, you know, been the keeper of secrets and can just stir up a whole new <laughs> bunch of drama for season six and seven. So what do you think this means for the rest of the cast? Because, you know, there are a few question marks. We know that obviously Maya is not returning. So that is one spot filled. Vanessa, I think, is a little bit of a question mark because she just got engaged to someone mm -hmm. who is in London. So is she staying? Is she going? We don't really know. I feel like she probably will stay, but it's not 100%. Christine, we never know what's going on with Christine. I feel like on one hand, she's you know left the Oppenheim group. She started her own thing. But on the other hand, the whole entire season five revolves around Christine. So really, what would they do? Without her, do you guys think that bringing on two is to fill the void that means maybe Christine is leaving? I guess there's always the chance. I mean, I hope not, because again, I think Christine brings something to this show that no one else does. I think Chelsea could try and fill those shoes. She has a very like similar energy to Christine. That's why they hit it off so well. But yeah, I'm wondering if they're just kind of like seeing the future of this. If they don't see the Vanessa storyline, you know, going super far, we got a lot less of her last season than I think anyone anticipated. And it ended with, you know, her at the airport, maybe giving us a sign. I know Heather is expanding her empire with Tarek and she has a baby on the way. So maybe her scheduling is not as available or she doesn't want to give as much time to the show. Jason's now running a completely different group. Like, I just think as the show's gotten successful, people are now venturing off into different areas. So maybe they're just thinking it's smarter to keep adding as opposed to letting it whittle down to a show that doesn't have any sort of like meat or drama. It's kind of reminding me of Vanderpump Rules. You have the OGs, but at some point the OGs start to make their way out because they're creating a different life and then you slowly bring other people in. So I feel like that is a little bit of what is happening here. I don't think Vanessa is going to be back. I don't think she I don't think she brought much on her first season that she was there other than a little bit of like trying to defend Christine. Um, and then she certainly didn't bring much the last season. We, she barely got any airtime. And then, like you said, Allison, we saw her at the at the airport. So I think she has departed from Selling Sunset. And um, I'm really proud of my pun right there. I, I thought it that, was pretty good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I think Chelsea, I think that if Christine is, it's really hard for me to think that Christine would somehow be still on the show because of how much negative press she has given Adam DeVello's production team, which is working directly with Netflix. Like how, maybe she makes them so much money that it's, 
okay that she can talk whatever she wants about them but i could not imagine being adam or being netflix and bring, and still allowing this person on my show when they've you know talked so poorly about me and my production company and whether or not it's true or not either way it doesn't seem likely to me that they would bring somebody on who is talking so negatively about it but that being said again she stirs up a press she probably makes him a lot of money because she's you know brings a lot of people to selling sunset and is a lot of the reason why people stick with selling sunset so i'm really conflicted on whether or not she's still on the show because it just logically doesn't make sense to me but then there's that element of well it is reality tv so sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make reality tv so again it could be the battle of the brokerage idea um i talked to davina at the MTV uh, VMAs, and uh, I asked her if that was happening, and she was, Davina was basically like, I don't know. I'm sure, that I, sh I know that's what Christine wants, but I don't know if that's what's actually happening. So who knows if that's happening? Maybe she'll be included in some capacity because she is still friends with Chelsea. So maybe Chelsea's gonna continue trying to be that middleman. But um, one thing I feel like I know for sure is that Vanessa is not going to be there. Everything else is a big question mark for me. Yeah. And, you know, just to kind of wrap things up here, it is just an interesting dynamic when you get to the Christian of it all, because even in those interviews where she's slamming Adam DeVillo, she's also saying I'm the highest paid cast member because I bring the most to the yes. show. So it's like it's a double edged sword where like she's the highest paid for a reason because she is mm -hmm. what people are talking about. But then she's also going on these, you know, <laughs> on these podcast right. tours, really just giving Adam DeVillo a time. But so have a lot of other people that have worked with him. A yes. lot of the Hills cast are doing the same. I mean, obviously, I know it's not airing anymore, but. Kristen Cavallari isn't holding back anymore. Spencer, Audrina, I've heard them all say the same thing that Christine is saying about Adam DeVillo. So maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he knows that everybody on the planet knows that he manipulates <laughs> people and turns people into villains. Who knows? The Selling Sunset drama literally never stops. So let us know in the comments what you think about this new cast shakeup. Any thoughts on Christine? Because I know people love to give their opinions on her. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel before you go so you don't miss out on any Selling Sunset updates. You can also come say hi to myself, Allison, or Blakely. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye.